employees earn and get taxed, and they try to live on what is left. A corporation earns, spends everything it can, and is taxed on anything that is left. It's one of the biggest legal tax loopholes that the rich use. Life pushes all of us around. Some people give up and others fight. A few learn the lesson and move on. They welcome life pushing them around. To these few people, it means they need and want to learn something. They learn and move on. It was not until the industrial age, that a new demand began growing, the demand for employees. In response, the government took over the task of mass education, adopting the Prussian system, which is what most Western school systems in the world are still modeled after today. When I ask the classes I teach, how many of you can cook a better hamburger than McDonald's? Almost all the students raise their hands. I then ask, so if most of you can cook a better hamburger, how come McDonald's makes more money than you? Each dollar in my asset column was a great employee, working hard to make more employees and buy the boss a new Porsche. The world is filled with talented poor people. All too often, they're poor or struggle financially or earn less than they are capable of, not because of what they know, but because of what they do not know. They focus on perfecting their skills at building a better hamburger rather than the skills of selling and delivering the hamburger. Maybe McDonald's does not make the best hamburger, but they are the best at selling and delivering a basic average burger. People think that working hard for money and then buying things that make them look rich will make them rich. In most cases it doesn't. It only makes them more tired. They call it keeping up with the Joneses. And if you notice, the Joneses are exhausted. For example, 1031 is jargon for section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code which allows a seller to delay paying taxes on a piece of real estate that is sold for a capital gain through an exchange for a more expensive piece of real estate. Real estate is one investment vehicle that allows such a great tax advantage. There are business and investment opportunities coming that will create bigger fortunes than the automobile did for Henry Ford, oil did for John D. Rockefeller, computers did for Bill Gates, and the Internet did for the young founders of Yahoo, Google, and Facebook. A person can be highly educated, professionally successful, and financially illiterate. In times of great economic change, there are always great transfer of wealth. Even if you do not have much money, it is important to insist in your education, for when the changes come, you will be better prepared for them. Don't be caught unaware and afraid. As I said, no one can predict what will happen, yet it is best to be prepared for whatever happens. And that means getting educated now. One of the reasons the rich get richer is that they buy more investments by taking advantage of the tax laws. In essence, the money that would have been paid in taxes is used to buy additional assets, which provide another deduction against income, which reduces the taxes due, legally. In the early 1990s, Donald Trump was nearly $1 billion in debt personally and $9 billion in debt corporately. An interviewer asked him if he was worried. He replied, Worrying is a waste of time. Worrying gets in my way of working to solve these problems. If you find you have dug yourself into a hole, stop digging. Taxes punish those who produce and reward those who don't produce. 
It's not what happens in one's life that matters, but it's the meaning one puts on what happens that matters. Today, I have expensive attorneys, accountants, real estate brokers, and stock brokers. Why? Because if, and I do mean if, the people are professionals, their services should make you money. And the more money they make, the more money I make. We. Instead of simply working for the money and security, which I admit are important, I suggest they take a second job that will teach them a second skill. Often I recommend joining a network marketing company, also called multi-level marketing, if they want to learn sales skills. Some of these companies have excellent training programs that help people get over their fear of failure and rejection, which are the main reasons people are unsuccessful. Education is more valuable than money, in the long run. When I offer this suggestion, I often hear in response, oh that is too much hassle, or I only want to do what I am interested in. If they say, it's too much of a hassle, I ask, so you would rather work all your life giving 50% of what you earn to the government? If they tell me, I only do what I am interested in, I say, I'm not interested in going to the gym, but I go because I want to feel better and live longer. If I make great profits in the stock market, I pay my capital gains tax on the gain and then reinvest what's left in real estate, again further securing my asset foundation. She also kept the books, logging in how many kids showed up each day, who they were, and any comments they might have. Mike and I averaged $9.50 per week over a three-month period. We paid his sister one dollar a week and allowed her to read the comics for free, which she rarely did since she was always studying. Remember what I said before, a job is only a short-term solution to a long-term problem. Although we have been successful in our careers, they have not turned out quite as we expected. We both have changed positions several times for all the right reasons but there are no pension plans vesting on our behalf. Our retirement funds are growing only through our individual contributions.